This is such a cool chart. It was in the Wall Street Journal last week in an article that warned strong economic growth could be a problem. Well, there's always something to worry about. Journalists love to find negative spin. That's what makes news. But if you're a glass half full guy like me, this is a really positive story. It ought to be that emerging economies that are becoming a bigger part of global GDP because they're growing faster. That's supposed to be the point of investing in emerging markets. But this chart shows that the US economy has been gaining share. It's gone from 21% of the world economy 15 years ago to 26% now. This isn't happening to other developed countries. The EU is steadily losing share, and so is Japan. What is it that makes America so exceptional? It's many things. It's the ease of starting a new business. Almost two-thirds of all the new jobs are created by small businesses. We have the world's biggest capital markets. We have a culture of being an entrepreneur. When I started SL Advisors in 2009, people were excited for me. It was easy to open and operate an account and to sign an office lease. It's easy to start a business, but hard work to make it successful. This is another area where Americans are ahead. We work about 3% more hours than the OECD average of rich countries. That's about 10 extra days a year. We do almost seven weeks more than the EU and over 13 weeks more than the Germans. We're willing to take more business risk in America. I don't know, but I have a feeling that in the UK where I grew up, if I told people I was starting a business back in 2009 with the great financial crisis still very much in everyone's mind, they would have said something like, oh, are you sure? Isn't that risky? In America, people wish you luck. We have all these advantages, but I also think our energy sector has been a big factor. The Shell Revolution, with its horizontal drilling and fracking, really began to take off about 15 years ago. This extra supply of oil and gas has helped keep energy prices low. This has helped draw manufacturing here from other countries. Climate extremists have tried, but so far they've failed to impose the type of masochistic energy policies here that have turned out so badly for Germany. Anyway, China burns over half the world's coal. Just from this, they generate 22% of the world's CO2 emissions. There's not much point in implementing policies to lower emissions if the world's biggest emitter is still increasing theirs. So when I looked at that Wall Street Journal chart showing America increasing its share of the world economy, I thought it was fantastic news. It's something for all of us to be proud of in this country. There's much more going right than going wrong. The chart shows it. If you're interested in learning more about the energy sector and interest rates, then don't forget to subscribe and follow us on LinkedIn and Twitter. Our handles are in the description box below. To find out more about what we're thinking, you can sign up for our twice-weekly blog at sl-advisors.com. We always love to hear from you. So if you have any comments or blog ideas, please leave them down below. I'm Simon Lack. Thank you for watching this video.